All right, guys, so today I'm at the dam again. I just can't get enough of this place. It's amazing here. The wind's probably really bad right now. I'm gonna go below here. It's been kind of cold the past few days. I've got this new combo I've been wanting to try, so I think it's gonna be pretty good. Let's get down there and see what we can do. But yeah, so like I said, it's been kind of cold the past few days. Actually pretty cold. It's been getting down to the mid 40s at night, so we're gonna have to slow things down. See if we can get our first fish on this combo. Man, I can't wait to use this thing. Hopefully, hopefully we can get on some fish with it. Just got to fish really slow. There's plenty of fish down there. I don't see why we shouldn't be able to get at least one. Let's see what we can do. Ah, oh, dude. This place never gets old. Just that view. Look at all that, man. It's amazing. All right, there's fish to be caught. Let's see what we can do. I'm just going to start off with this, a bit of a bigger presentation than the Sakoshi bug, and then I can swap to that if I need to. There's something. Oh, I just got bit. Literally first cast with this thing, dude. Well, I literally just caught my first ever bass on this combo and didn't record. He hit it right at the bank, but that's awesome. This bass is freezing cold, dude. That's awesome though, dude. It might be small, but it's a fish and first ever one on this combo. Nice, dude. Let's get back at it. All right, guys, so I'm gonna put this combo down and pick back up. And I'm gonna pick up the spinning combo that I have. But I'm gonna try something out. Right here is just your typical Sakoshi bug on a Ned rig. But I'm going to try out some of this dipping glow the spike it stuff i've never tried this stuff before i've heard pretty good things about it and it adds some scent and different colors oh man that stuff is strong so pretty much you just dip it in hold it take it right out look at that now you have a chartreuse tip to your skoshi bug and the guy at the store was telling us do not get this stuff on your clothes even black it will stain it so yeah, got to be careful with that, but that doesn't look bad. Now I have plenty of scent on this thing. So maybe some of these more finicky fish will end up hitting it. Let's give this thing a try. There we go. Something a little bit better. Ah, uh, largey. Oh, he just choked that thing. Look at that nice so i'm slowly starting to figure these fish out they're not right up on this moving water i don't know if they're waiting for food or if they're just chilling out but that's a fat one and he absolutely choked that thing he's got a pretty small mouth on him too oh yeah he was ready to go sweet not right up against the dam just cast out kind of further back let me tighten my drag there we go I just had another and another there we go another largey all right these things are crazy i wasn't really expecting to get much from today i i i didn't know but i don't know if it's that chartreuse on the back or if it's just the presentation There's something. There we go. That fish felt way bigger than it actually was. Another dink. There we go. A little largey.
Wait, that might be a spotted bass. Dude, that's got to be a spotted bass. Look, look at those colors. Yep, that's a spot. I'm almost positive that's a spotted bass. I feel a rough patch on his tongue. Yeah, that's got to be a spot. Oh my. I have something on this rod. Jeez. Alright, let's get this guy back. Nice. Between my, I have my rod between my legs and I just felt like tapping. There's something. There we go. <laughs> Whoa. Oh no. I <laughs> just threw that fish onto me. But second fish ever on this combo. But nice. All right guys, so I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be out here for, but I'm just gonna see what else I can get. It is freezing out here right now. I don't know how these fish are still biting. There's a nice one. Oh yeah. That's a smallie. Oh yeah. Woo. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Let's go. That's the one that we were looking for, guys. Nice. Check that out, guys. Full smallmouth. We got one. And I figured out how to get the small one. Just look at that though. Nice. But the largemouth would hit it when I was bouncing it, like popping it. Kind of imitating a bait fish. But I just popped this off the bottom and kind of let it sit there and this fish was on there. That's a beauty. Nice. But yeah, beautiful fish out of here. Beautiful colors. Let's see if we can get another one. This is about the size of them that I was catching the other day, but definitely a lot of fun to fight them on this new rod. So let's get back at it, see what else we can get. Yeah, so these smallmouth are being very lethargic right now. I barely even felt the bite from that fish. I just felt a little tug and next thing you know, set the hook and I have one. I was bouncing it off these, I was feeling on these rocks down there, like this right here. And then I had one. There's something. Another smallie. Thinking we're finally starting to figure these fish out. Nice. Yeah, finally we're figuring out the smallmouth now. They're more lethargic. This fish is actually pretty warm, but they're being a lot more lethargic than others and not really hitting aggressively like the large mouth, so sick. All right, I don't know what you guys heard of that, but this guy came by and said that this is private property and I gotta get out of here. I didn't know because there are some no trespassing signs, but I thought that you could fish underneath the bridge. I mean, this is my third time fishing here and no words have been said about private property or anything. There are some signs by me, but I had no clue. So I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna show you guys this real quick. So I, I got dropped off right over there and there's some no trespassing signs in front of the cornfield. But then I hopped down from this right here 
I see no signs. That sign right there is a road sign. And then you hop down there and there's nothing. So 